We're going to go over the search pattern for acute appendicitis, but specifically for acute appendicitis with evidence of perforation. So a lot of the principles that we use to diagnose appendicitis are obviously going to come into play because this is a type of appendicitis. However, we're going to show how we're going to detect the perforation and specifically what we're looking for when we're looking for perforation. So we have a case here, CT abdomen pelvis. With contrast, we have our axial and coronal here. Um, just to review, when we're looking at our appendicitis cases, we want to identify the terminal ilium and the ileocecal valve just as a landmark. And this case will show why, um, because oftentimes the appendix and terminal ilium can look similar and even be in a similar location. So here as we're looking, we have two tubular structures. And um, if we follow this one, this is actually the terminal ilium, which comes back to this small bowel loop here. And they're both actually a little inflamed, but it's because of the appendicitis. So long story short, this is the terminal ilium plugging into the cecum. And we can kind of see the ileocecal valve here, but this is why it's so important to be very deliberate. This is terminal ilium. And then when we scroll in the other direction a little bit, we see that the appendix is right below it. So right here is where the appendix comes off, right below the terminal ilium. So again, really important to orient yourself so you don't confuse the two. Now that we know it's the appendix, we do see that it's inflamed. There's some adjacent fat stranding. There's maybe some hyperemia. And we have to follow the appendix all the way to the tip. And we see the tip here. So it is blind ending. But that's not all. If we look really closely, we see that there's something next to the appendix. And actually, right here, we can see that there's a little bit of fluid. And when we put it on our lung windows, a little bit of air right there. Oh, that's actually in the appendix, sorry. Right here is the air that's outside the appendix. Air in the appendix, outside the appendix. So there you go, we have evidence of perforation because there's a little focus of free air within some free fluid that is adjacent to the appendix. And then honestly, if we look really, really closely, on this slice right here, actually what I'm going to do is zoom up. If we look really, really closely, we can actually see that the wall here gets a little indistinct. So we'll just kind of scroll right there. So there is what looks like to be, this is appendix, a defect in the appendix wall leading into this little bit of free fluid and little bit of free air. And that is a really good look for perforation. And actually, this case was a confirmed perf case. So we have our acute appendicitis. Then we have free air, free fluid. We have a defect in the wall of the appendix. All of that is a really good look for acute appendicitis complicated by perforation.